What is up, guys? Tyson Dela Cruz here. Thank you so much for rocking with me. You wouldn't believe it. You wouldn't believe it. But you're believing it because you clicked on the video. Mr. Reagan dropped Kamala Harris ad number six. Number six. And it is a banger. After I share the new Kamala Harris ad, parody ad, by the way, I got a little something special for you guys. And it's going to be great. It's going to be absolutely awesome. Um, if you haven't seen the one through five Kamala Harris parody ads, I'll place that in the description link down below. Shout out to everybody watching. Smash the like button if you kindly would. Just it's free. Just hit the hit the like. Smash the like button. Let's jump in to the Mr. Reagan Kamala Harris ad number six a number of high-profile Hollywood celebrities endorsing me. I'm white, I'm a dude, and I'm for Harris. I'm supporting Kamala Harris for president and Tim Walz for vice president. Vote for Kamala. I need to get out and start campaigning for Kamala Harris for president. And you may have also noticed that these endorsements have all come around the same time as P. Diddy's indictment for some pretty heinous crimes. In fact, in the office, we like to call these supporters friends of Diddy. <laughs> Just been unsealed. Combs is being charged with racketeering conspiracy, alleging he ran an enterprise that he engaged in sex trafficking, forced labor, or kidnapping, arson, and other crimes. He's also charged uh, with sex trafficking by force. Well, let me put the rumors to rest. These celebrity endorsements have been in no way coerced whatsoever. The deep state is not blackmailing Hollywood celebrities into enthusiastically endorsing me for president. That would be ridiculous. I, I'm just uh, so appreciative of Kamala. I, I, I've always been a, a fan of Kamala. Kind of going from um, uh, a stop Trump mode into a go Kamala mode. Beautiful, wonderful Kamala Harris. Kamala Harris! These celebrities simply recognize the amazing job the Biden-Harris administration has done over the past four years, and they want four more years of the same. Would you have done something differently than President Biden during the past four years? There is not a thing that comes to mind in terms of, and I've been a part of, of, of most of the decisions that have had impact. And if you're not convinced by these amazing people who have definitely not been blackmailed, listen to the man P. Diddy himself. The number one priority is to get Trump out of office. White men like Trump need to be banished. Trump got to go. The tribe of people that have the responsibility and really should be scared to death for this man is white people. If this man is elected, we're not standing by no more getting killed. We're on the verge of a, a race war. The only thing that will prevent bloodshed is, is let's get Trump out of office. If Trump's in office, there's gonna be bloodshed. You're not gonna keep on playing with these people. This is a new Negro. And that new Negro, that new black person is, is not scared. It's not fearful. They're not afraid to die. They understand that this is life and that violence has to be an option. I started in 2004 with Vote or Die and this is the evolution of that thought. Vote or die, motherfucker, motherfucker, vote or die. Get out there and vote or I will motherfucking kill you. That's definitely not a threat. Seriously, though, um, vote or die. <laughs> you know if Trump wins and the Epstein list comes out, that's going to be some crazy shit. Shout out to Mr. Reagan. Mr. Reagan. <laughs> if you guys have been following the series, this one was good. This one was good. Me personally, um, not the best, but really good. And Diddy, <sighs> Diddy going to be gone for a long time. Diddy's going to be gone for a long time. They got him locked up like Akon locked up. They won't let him out. <laughs> I promised you guys a little something special. So we are going to jump into that. Um, you've seen the uh, the guys for Harris. Since Harris and Walsh are tanking with the gentlemen, they're tanking with the men. They put out an ad for for men. It was a crappy ad, by the way. I don't know if you guys have seen it. I'm sure you have, but uh, not very good. 
But uh, Mr. Reagan dropped a little something special. And here it is. Let me share this with you. I used to be a Trump guy. I was MAGA all the way. But then Kamala started to make a lot of sense. Under a Harris administration, what would the major changes be? And what would stay the same? Sure. Well, I mean, I'm obviously not Joe Biden. Um, but also, I'm not Donald Trump. And I realized for the first time that Kamala was right. She's not Joe Biden. And she's also not Trump. So I started to pay attention a little more. And the more I listened, the more I liked. Does the U.S. have no sway over Prime Minister Netanyahu? The work that we have done has resulted in a number of movements in that region by Israel that were very much prompted by or a result of uh, many things, including our advocacy for what needs to happen in the region. So profound. Kamala will say absolutely nothing, but she will express this nothingness as if it is the most profound thing anyone has ever said. And that, I think, is what it truly means to sound presidential. It is time for us to do what we have been doing, and that time is every day. Every day it is time for us to agree. It's time to do what we've been doing, and that time is every day. Wow. But what really sold me on the genius of Kamala is how brilliantly she dodges questions that she doesn't like. Do you believe Americans are better off than they were four years ago? So I was raised as a middle class kid. Wow. Kamala has a truly astonishing way of expressing herself. What's on top of everything else that we know and don't know yet based on what we've just been able to see and because we've seen it or not doesn't mean it hasn't happened. So come on, guys. Let's all be unburdened by what has been. Imagine, if you will, a world devoid of common sense, a world in which the nonsensical ramblings of an inarticulate moron are actually convincing, a world in which men vote for Kamala Harris. If you find yourself in such a world, take a moment to look around. You may have just wandered into the Twilight Zone. Mr. Reagan. Shout out to Mr. Reagan and the official authority of parodies, Professor Sug on These Nuts. <laughs> Guys, you got to be unburdened for what has been because the time is now. From tomorrow, as of yesterday was today, and tomorrow is yesterday, today, tomorrow. <laughs> Let me know if you enjoyed the Mr. Reagan parody ad number six as much as I did. Drop it down in the comments down below. Smash the like button, share, subscribe, and always, guys, I'll catch you on the next one.